Hello, welcome to today's pick a pile card reading blah blah blah, blah sort of video. <sighs> um, my name is Leah. I am the Trina Lane gal and I work with the great divine to translate and uh, kind of just send out messages that hopefully will improve your life, make that chaoticness a bit more calm with knowledge and wisdom. Always helpful. So we have three piles. The first pile is going to be this Ganesh spray. The second pile is a Mercury retrograde oil. Whoa. And it is Mercury retrograde until January 1st. So stick around for that. Um, and then the third pile is going to be the Psychic Shield Oil. Um, so yeah, so welcome to the reading. A very general what you need to know. I don't know if I said that yet, but it's what you need to know, baby. And I am using the Mystic Monday Tarot deck by Grace Dung. Okay, so pile one. Starting at 1.30. Okay. So what you need to know right now, just from this, you picking this bottle, it is a removing obstacle spray. Within it, actually, I didn't mention, I created a um, kind of like an empath remover and protection spray where it cleanses any unnecessary energies off of your body and it also allows you um, to kind of like balance your energy, your aura out so that you're able to feel good again. <laughs> Especially if you're an empath and you live around other people. Oh, I'm used to being in the kind of nature. I'm a country gal myself, but I live in the city right now. So anyway, so pile one, let's see what you need to hear right now. I uh, want to start off with past, present, future to see uh, where kind of you're at and then go from there. So past for pile one, please. Okay, three cards came out, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, for the past, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have the Ten of Cups. Let's show you them. I will say there's a lot of blue, green, um, kind of like navy blue, purple colors. It reminds me of like your throat chakra, your third eye chakra, and your crown chakra. So kind of like your self-expression, the way you see and the way you think. Um, and kind of like believe sort of thing. So there, in the past, I see that you have went through some sort of rebalancing in the way that you view that the way that you view value in yourself in the way that you're able to find satisfaction and knowing um, by the definition of worthy, what it is for you in relation to emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. I see that your eye has been on more than anything, the prize of the 10 of cups feeling as if every part of the emotional, every part of your emotional body is fulfilled. And it was based off of, I'm getting the very, very kind of looking at the way you kind of just have your habits uh, for morning and night, something more simple, not as complex as specifically your next door neighbor something more kind of like general i'm hearing for your like entirety of life um so yeah so that was the past right now so you went through some kind of like 
redefining what worth is and what value is for you. And I see that either you have been successfully reaching that emotional fulfillment or that's what you are looking at. So let's look at the present for you. <laughs> they were like, boom. And I'm like, yes. So we have the three of pentacles and we have the three of wands. So presently, it's kind of like, you know that there's a lot of uh, length within this journey for you for the emotional fulfillment. But it's, I do see that you see, you are seeing results in areas where you have been dedicating yourself to. Um, specifically when it comes to the way that you see challenges and how you can find a way to think of them as improving your character, improving in terms of gaining wisdom uh, in areas where you before were kind of down on yourself with luck, if you will, if it, or, or not luck. Well, yeah, kind of like if you make a mistake, if like, let's say you are kind of running late and then for some reason there's a train right now happening and you have to stop and you physically cannot move or whatever, something like that. So I see though, it's also in your habits in the way that you form and structure the daily tasks. There's something about how you've realized that there's certain habits that allow you to have foundation that is kind of balancing out problem areas, if you will. And this is helping you a lot. Yeah, this is where the foundation is helping balance out. The seven of swords I get that like I get this so much at night just uh, I get it like areas where you you how would I put this before you have dedicated and committed and then it was harder than expected and it's taking longer or it's like not, it didn't happen as quick as you thought it would, is what I'm getting. So in the future for you, I wanna see if there's, the star did pop out, nine of cups and the moon. Okay, so subconsciously even, I see that in the future for you, subconsciously, you're going to i'm i'm getting bring the subconscious um how would i put this this uh, it's gonna sound really interesting but you know how like a mustard seed is referenced as like um kind of like you plant a seed in your mind and it grows and becomes this whoa that's what i'm getting is what wherever before subconsciously you have placed um specifically love the intention of love in the future that is where you are starting to um get to because we are talking the future i forgot <laughs> i thought we were still talking about the present the future so in the places i'm getting this has to do with being more balanced in terms of giving emotionally to others like specifically your time and energy specifically that giving your time and energy to others balancing that out so you don't self-sabotage and it's kind of like in places where before you were giving a lot of love to others, you are now giving to yourself in the future. But that is based off of kind of like subconscious nudges of like, you really want to create this or you really want to try this out. I'm getting that the new opportunities, like that's, that's coming forth in the future. So making sure that you, I'm hearing right now, pile one, making sure that you 
cleanse yourself specifically with other people's intentions um, of what emotional fulfillment is for them and also for you. Keeping yourself separated with other people's kind of perspective of that is going to be very, very important. Also being aware specifically of you. Like I know a lot of people say this and that about themselves, but specifically the more you know about yourself when it comes to emotional fulfillment and balance and how you can go about that is going to be really helpful for you. Um, so yeah, that is your reading. I guess that's, I'm being told, let's wrap it up. So that is your reading. Thank you so much for joining me, Pal One. I really enjoyed it. I hope it helps a little bit. The more you know, the more you have power, baby. And power is responsibility. Let's not forget. All right. Bye, Pile One. Hello, Pile Two. Welcome to your reading. We have the Mercury Retrograde Oil is your pile. So it is a Mercury Retrograde. Um, yeah, till January 1st. It is dicey, spicy on the road. Let me tell you something. I don't like to drive that much. I'm a walker. If I can, I will. <laughs> uh, like, I love walking. I, I'm also from the country. Um, I live in the city right now, but I'm more of a rural kind of person, not urban. I like nature too. I, I lived in Yellowstone for a bit, like the national park. Yes, it's amazing. You can like do seasonal work and everything there. So the more you know. Um, so this is actually a mercury retrograde oil. I don't know if oil or mercury retrograde is relevant for you. Um, mercury retrograde is a time where you're learning a lot of lessons about areas where you need to improve, areas where you need specifically to um, look at your communication, transportation, how things are traveling um, from you to you, to and from, things like that. Uh, if there's anything that starts acting up, that is a specific sign for you to look at in terms of how you can handle the mistakes that happen or the uh, odd coincidences of this machine did not work. Let me tell you something. Can I tell you a story? I want to tell you a story. Um, so I was in Target. I was checking out in the machine. I guess it was the second time that it was fussy with giving out money. So I was like the last person to use the machine and the cashier or the person working who knew how to perform, like how to get that machine, you know, it was cool. It was very interesting looking inside. Anyway, but it was so interesting that I was the last person to use that machine before it was like only card. So that to me, that's kind of like what I'm referencing is like those different odd coincidences of something not working. That, that, okay. Also my nose is itching. So it's kind of like I'm on the trail. Like I'm a, I'm a, one of those dogs that have really great smell. You ever get that? Okay, anyway. So we have Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune. The choice is yours. It is in your favor. It can be against your favor. This is what we need to concentrate, pile two. Intention. Where is this direction of focus taking you, leading you? There's something about how mm, right now for you during this time, during the retrograde, I don't know, it could be longer, it's up to you. It's, you know, however you take this information, your mind, it might feel like there's a lot going on. There's a lot that is happening. I'm getting that there's needing to be some type of releasing during this time for you to be able to feel a bit more 
I'm getting wiser when it comes to choosing for like the Wheel of Fortune. Where it's not like you're making the decision in the moment for the moment, but you're making the decision for a bit later after the moment. One thing that just came to my mind that I forgot to mention is that they do talk about not really signing any contracts. Nothing new really started. Um, I don't really know the reason why. You might want to look it up or just be cautious when it comes to signing anything new or kind of doing anything new. I'm getting that there does have to be something to do with like money that's like if this is part of anything new like if you're dealing with a lot of money just be cautious um and really before before making any really important decisions think it over like a week um i am i have mercury in my chart i'm a gemini sun and gemini rising so I'm a bit, if I'm not too careful, I'm very quick with a lot of things. And sometimes the wisdom comes a little later when I would be like patiently kind of listening. So there's something about being patient and listening to yourself. If there's any big decisions that you're making, we have the Ten of Swords, something about feeling a bit heavy with your body feeling a bit heavy in your mind specifically um your mental body <clears throat> yes we're gonna use that as confirmation thank you i appreciate it um we have the six of pentacles that was on its side so this the cards landed like this okay so this tells me that this is what you are working on to relieve the amount of intense mental, like it feels like responsible weight, you know? The weight of the world has brought you to a point where you cannot get up because it has gotten to a point where it's all of your body, like all of your body. So I'm getting that the more that you, with it being the Six of Pentacles, the more that you balance out the physical life of yours, the, the lives deeper within you will also start to balance out. It could be that actually something to do with the physical is a way to relieve actually more than anything this Ten of Swords. Yeah, yeah, yo, let me tell you, I relate. I go to the gym like two, three hours because I have so much in my mind. I don't know if during Mercury retrograde you get really intense with your thoughts and it's just like so tiring. You can't feel like energized because your mind is just so heavy. Releasing in the physical is a way. Sweat it out. Something, something about sweating it out um, will really help you out. We have the Four of Wands. I'm getting something about using an activity you used to do as a kid. Could be a really fun way to also relieve you of this too. It's kind of like you're stressed out and it's making the rest of your life messy. But something about using some kind of childhood activity you used to love doing um, is a way to tune in, ooh, is a way to tune into this and release release you of this what no longer is needed. Now some might say the devil might be scary, but I say it's just life. Life is just you forget you have a lot of excessive baggage. Like let me tell you, releasing is not something that we talk about a lot as a society, and. The way to really not have stress consume your life, because life is stressful. Life, like stress is this, this is stress. In releasing what is no longer needed for you is something that is like, 
part of the deal of being human. Like we don't need to have this much mental stress hanging on. There is a package that you can put this stress into that's within you. And it's kind of like you need to use your your own key. It's the, so metaphorical, but this key is like within your eye, your third eye. And it's kind of like, hear me out when I say this, but you reach in, you grab this key and you open it up and you just take all this stuff out. And you're like, whoa, I didn't know I had so much. And guess what? When you do this, it's going to be so relieving. It's going to feel as though the things where you thought like, oh, life is so not fair. You're going to find more than anything that life is fair-ish. <laughs> fair-ish. <laughs> That's funny. But it won't feel so much like misfortune. You're going to come to some kind of understanding and just find a way to move on is what I'm getting. We have the Fool and Queen of Cups. Like, there's definitely, once you're able to release, this is what will be coming in. So, you're like releasing this, right? Let me actually get a describing card for the devil. What just came to my mind was like jealousy and envy. Don't know if that's something that um, you've been dealing with. You're not alone. I too deal with jealousy and envy and it's just so like, really, it's kind of like candy. And if you eat too much of it, you're gonna get a stomach ache. You're gonna get a sugar high. Um, you're gonna overall feel as though you, like it's too much, you know? So something to do with jealousy and envy might be useful to look into in relation to your experience with it from others, like other people sending you that. Um, you can release that. You can do cord cutting as well. I love personally cord cutting with small birthday candles. I don't know where men went. But using that is a way to help also get yourself to a point where you don't feel that emotional tug on yourself, specifically with the past or the present, or not, blah, 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 blah. specifically past or future. So yeah, this is what will happen, pile two, once you're able to release whatever you need to release um, so that you can see that there's so many different opportunities for you to feel also different emotions in these areas of your life uh, and you deserve to absolutely enjoy your life like I I really hope you can get there because um, it, it does feel great it's hard though to learn uh, what's good for you what's not how to find balance but I believe in you I know you can do it um, yeah just remember that at the end of the day you matter in all of that weight lifted off of your shoulders. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay. Thank you, Pile 2, for joining me. I hope that the rest of Mercury Retrograde is at least you survive it. <laughs> like, I hope you can just get through it. And I believe in you. Okay. Bye, Pile 2. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's funny. All right, um, pile three, hello, welcome. We have Psychic Shield is going to be, that's going to be your pile, welcome. Psychic Shield Oil, I actually just recently got it and it is really good, it smells so good. It's from the brand Raven Grove Elemental. Let me see if I can. Oh man, it's really tiny writing, but this is what the bottle, like the design is. It's really catchy. I like it. it kind of reminds me of the 70s. Um, but yeah, this is, yeah, it's just like a protection, uh, protection oil. I'm going to put some on. Why not? Let me see. The smell to me, I don't know if you've ever had snake oil that's what it is i don't know what the brand is that i have but this reminds me of the snake oil that i have so yeah 
Um, I am channeling Theodore Roosevelt a lot and I'm very happy with that. I don't mind. And also Robin Williams who played Theodore Roosevelt, President Theodore Roosevelt, excuse me. Um, but yeah, anyway. So Psychic Shield Oil is a really great oil, especially if you are an empath, if you are more on the sensitive side where it's kind of like, if you're not too careful, you can be influenced by other people's emotions and energies. That's intense. Let me, let me tell you, it's really hard to also notice when you're being influenced by other people's emotions. But there's tells, you can always tell. Um, different ways that you can kind of like clear one's energy if you do notice that, especially psychically, there might be someone else's like energy or just energy that's not yours and it doesn't make you feel good. One thing I love is going to like thrift stores, estate sales, um, and bells. Having little, I don't want to like shake them, but these kind of bells are perfect to just clear the energy. So I want to do that really fast. If the volume is high, please lower your volume. Thank you. I just wanted to mention that. Also, um, those bells where you kind of like, woo, 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 and they're like, blah, 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 those kind of bells, perfect. Um, and then salt is great. Salt and water is great for room too if you need to cleanse the energy. So let's do a, um, for pile one, I did this. I wanna do it again. I forgot pile two, but whatever. I'll do it again another pile, another video, I mean. But pile three, I wanted to do a past, present, future just to see where you're at, kind of like what direction you're going in and for you to just be aware um, that there might be things you might not be aware of that maybe I can help give you more insight onto and clarity. So pile three, psychic shield, something about how you are really, really intuitively perceptive is what I'm hearing, where you're like, your foresight is really good. But there's something about how you kind of get in a situation, like a collaboration I'm getting with other people. And when I'm talking, my stomach is like feeling really queasy, like my solar plexus. So this might be connected to your solar plexus chakra, where it's kind of like I'm getting that you meet people, you collaborate with people, and then you start to feel like your energy, your motivation for life, your hope, something like that is starting to kind of drain from you. And it's, you lose a lot of oomph for taking on what the world Kind of brings you. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles upright. So what I'm getting is that like with this collab, right? And this is a past you or the what your past was. There you go. Not the past you, but you know, what you were going through. So something about collabing with people who more than anything kind of like demotivate you. <laughs> like they blit, I just heard they bring the gloom to the doom. Something like that where they're just always pessimistic Nancy's. I don't wanna, no, we're not gonna put names into it. Pessimistic people, okay? Just people who are pessimistic and I see that you're someone who is a bright, shining light, typically, on your own, but around other people, around something about collabing, it just takes that light, and this is what it does. It just causes kind of like 
starting off, I'm getting on the wrong direction. Something about how it more than anything causes like halting for you to continue what you want to as the queen of pentacles for you to continue with um like your queendom you know your legacy who you are as a person i'm getting that this could be like an obstacle that you have to go through where it's going to be about tuning into yeah uh, your direction of thought, where you want to take the next couple of, I just heard days, weeks, something about next couple of something. So you put in with how it fits with your life. Um, but this is kind of like, I'm getting that this is kind of like you're taking a step back from collabing with other people um, or being influenced in terms specifically of emotions because it is the two of cups. So this is kind of like a, an emotional collaboration. And I'm getting, and it makes sense though with the holidays, taking a step back and reassessing with yourself of kind of, how you want to give to other people and what you want to receive that give and that receive that's what i'm getting pal three is emotionally what you are learning to rebalance two of pentacles the chariot and the two of wands like your direction for the future is changing because your idea of what the future is and your perception of it it's kind of like it's not so long, it's shorter, and it's a lot more based off of dedicating certain ways to get these results that you really want. Like, look at the chariot. They're just, it reminds me of the movie Spirit and when the horse jumps, like, the canyon thingy. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but... Like, imagine this is, like, a, the Grand Canyon. And there's, like, a horse. And it jumps. And it lands. Incredible. The song at the time with the movie, like, it moves me. But that's what I'm getting is that you're realizing it's kind of like you make more progress, actually, with, especially with, emotional balance specifically with other people that's what i'm getting let's see so yeah okay that's the past let's see the present the ten pentacles yeah so if that's the past then you have reached some sort of like kind of mastering what you need to dedicate yourself to in terms of responsibility, like uh, going to the gym, eating a healthier diet, um, balancing your budget, um, kind of also giving back to yourself and taking care of yourself in terms of self-care, still giving a little of that candy, candy desire that you can give to other people you give to yourself too. Um, Nine of Pentacles, so presently, like, I mean, this is like right now, 10 and nine of pentacles. You figured out something where you are close to uh, how, geez, let me just cover the shoulder. You know, <laughs> it's peeking out. That's where, that's what's happening with you. It's like kind of like those, <laughs> those desires, like, you know how they used to use shoulders as a way to like be like a little bit naughty naughty that's kind of the desires if you will the not not naughty naughty inappropriate but like let's say the desire of candy that sort of thing it's getting there it's getting close it's getting to a point i'm getting where it's like you've embodied it to a point where you appreciate um I'm getting though there's something about the challenges 
taking time to make, if it is going to be changes, taking time to make changes patiently, like using your wisdom. Um, yeah, the star is so about change. It's so about this, like, there's like a seed of, or a desire to have this change. Um, and I'm getting that there's something about you're really close to presently learning the lesson of patience in terms of where you need to be more patient. And it's kind of like you're getting to a satisfaction point where you realize it's going to take longer. But yeah, but you've gotten to a point where you found some kind of balance in the uncomfortability of how long it is. It's kind of like you have met some kind of way to convince yourself and your like it's in your belief system now that yes, it will happen, but it's going to take some time and finessing to understand uh, or to like let the outside also bounce out I'm getting um so yeah so in the future hold on my goodness this shoulder just wants to come out I know it's a good shoulder strong durable interesting though because the right side uh, for me, at least, is a way of releasing, and then the left is a way of receiving. Something to do with shoulders. Shoulders are kind of like, well, actually, I guess, I can't tell if it's the throat chakra or the heart chakra. One of those two. Something about also uncovering, kind of like your natural way, either with the throat chakra or heart chakra. Okay, so in the future, Five of Cups, it's kind of like in the future, you found some sort of way to look on the brighter side of things, Pile 3. Um, you found some sort of way to appreciate life to a point where you feel satisfied in what you have done. And it's kind of not, I, I get, I'm, I'm getting in the future that you're not moving so fast. Like the nine of pentacles is just standing there and holding, I'm getting kind of like the seed. One of, I'm getting actually, it's like their book. Like it's the book of all the things that they've learned, took notes on, um, kind of like their, when they went through those learning about life lessons, that's what's in this pentacle. And I'm getting that in the future, you'll get to some sort of, yeah, like understanding. Because we got, ugh, I'm so busy with my hands. We, we have the magician as well. And there's a helicopter, helicopter flying overhead. So it's kind of like you've, I don't want to say master, but like you've really understood how to manifest um, even in the ways where before you thought it was a disadvantage, you are finding the advantage in those disadvantages because you've learned how to change your perspective and change the way that uh kind of like you see yourself where you are in the journey i'm getting that there's something about releasing attachment specifically to the past and future would be really helpful for you to feel energetically able to come back to yourself in the present moment so that was, that was your reading, Pile 3. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I have other videos on my channel if you want to check them out. I hope that this reading has helped you with kind of seeing more with clear eyes, um, mind, heart, and soul, so on and so forth. So much to you, my sweet, sweet friend. All right, I'm going to go. I will see you in another video. Until next time. Uh, peace be with you, blessed be, namaste, and uh, yeah, you got this. You are strong. You are strong. Bye.